Most nights, she sleeps in a village not her own, because at night is when the laborers meet. Before the sun rises, we are back at her house, so she can cook, clean, and send her children to school. We travel by trucks, jeeps, and buses to labor camps and colonies outside of colonies. Everywhere we visit, the laborers live outside the boundaries of the village, and their alienation from natural resources is amplified by their physical distance. Under the piercing heat of the sun, the women labor for 12 hours in the field, but earn less than half of what has been deemed minimum wage by the government. The narrative of the community speaks of a history of oppression and resistance retold through their song and dance. The Jagruta Mahila Sangatan is a federation of 600 Dalit women working under a model of struggle and reconstruction. For the past six years, the federation has been building creative alternatives and resisting violence. In a small room allotted by the local government, a group of women sit in a circle while the men linger outside the doorway. Thank you. When the last laborer arrives, a candle is lit. Each woman contributes a fistful of rice into the community granary. The women sing and discuss the usual issues facing the Dalit community. But the space I entered was at one time lost. The women have not had the privilege as existing as individuals, but rather they draw their strength from the power of the collective community. The atrocities committed against one individual reverberate in the historical memories of every individual in the community. I spent 14 months in Raichu trying to understand purity, pollution, violence, and resistance.